Hey, Jamar, uh, Jacques Doucet here at WAFB in Baton Rouge. I had a couple quick questions for you. First off, what was it like for you uh, watching LSU football this year? Was that strange? Was that a, a weird experience for you? And what do you think of Kayshawn Boutet? Um, watching him this offseason was – you know, a, l a little hard for me. Uh, I'm a real competitive guy, so I was always trying to stay in touch with my friends, you know, all the guys that were here. But um, Kayshawn Booty is a very good receiver, you know, real small, real quick, real fast. Um, I was watching him the other day at practice. I think he could be a big guy, big name here. Hey, Jamar, Larry Holder with The Athletic in New Orleans. Uh, just what were some of the mental hurdles that you overcame? We just talked about watching LSU football, but not being around a team, uh, you know, being away from all of that school practices. I mean, what were some of the mental hurdles that you, you felt like you had to deal with and how did you feel like you overcame? Um, you know, watching them guys play games that I know we were supposed to win, probably the most hardest thing I had to do. You know, uh, I had to sit there and watch it sometimes. Sometimes I'd turn it off. So I probably say that was the hardest thing I had to do while I was sitting out this year. Hey Jamar, this is Joey Lizzie from Plain Sports. How are you today? How you doing? I'm doing good. So have you spoke I have two questions here. Have you spoken to the Cincinnati Bengals and what would it mean to reunite with Joe Burrow there? Um I have talked to the Bengals. Um I don't know how many times I've talked to them though. Um but me and Joe, you know, I, I, I wouldn't mind going back with Joe. Um, you know, if we go back together, we try to do nothing but get back on chemistry and have some more fun. Hey, Jamar, it's Amy Nichols from Fox Sports. Congratulations on your workout today. Can you describe how your work ethic has played into your success thus far, and how does it set you apart from other wide receiver prospects? Thank you. Um, I say my work ethic is pretty big, you know, uh, my friends, family, you know, uh, I have a big support system, so they always keep me going. Um, but, you know, on the other hand, um, I just want to be great, you know, so there's no, no way for me to sit down outside, you know, be lazy and, and get passed up every day. You know, someone's always outworking me somehow, some way, so I got to remember that and keep working. Hey, Jamar, Danilo Lacalle from Torcedores in Brazil. Hard game today, man. How you doing? Fine. So we just crushed the current day and congratulations for it, but how much do you feel prepared to get in the league as a playmaker? And how often do you talk to NFL players and get some advice to improve your game? Yeah, so I can't wait to be in the NFL. You know, uh, this is really a dream come true for me. Uh, I've been thinking about this so since I have been like maybe nine, ten years old, you know. Um, but I don't really talk to too many guys in the NFL. Uh, I might talk to Justin, maybe Jarvis Landry or something like that. But um, I don't really contact too many people from the NFL. Hey, Jamar, Jacob Infante from Windy City Gridiron. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, you know, talk to us today. Uh, can you go through what you've been working on over the course of these past two months, you know, having opted out of the 2020 season, uh, what you've been fine tuning specifically to build upon that incredible uh, 2019 season? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, when I opt out, I was working on a lot of my speed stuff. And um, after a while, I started working on my routes again, you know, getting used to dropping my weight again, getting used to my feels and my feet again. So uh, it was just me all trying to feel comfortable again. Hey, Jamar, Chris Eastwood, USA Today Sports Media Group. You talked about the Bengals earlier. What appeals to you most about that offense? And then do you think that you've – kind of surprised yourself or other people today with the numbers that you posted? Um, I don't really watch the Bengals offense as much. I just know Joe plays for them. Uh, I know Tegan Higgins is another receiver they have. Um, they spread the ball around a little bit. It looked like they run a little bit of our, our old offense I was in. Um, but uh, I, couldn't, I can't even remember what the other question you had said. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jamar, Chris Matos Arnelas from Time Out here in Brazil. Uh, congratulations for the amazing pro day and for going for the NFL draft. We already talked uh, uh, a lot about the Bengals and maybe be with Joe Burrow again, but LSU have a lot of great receivers in the recent years going for the NFL. Do you think this is like a chip on your shoulder for you guys or is that, or is just like, no, I'm going to do my history 
and that's it. Well, I don't think there's no chip on our shoulder. I don't think there's no worries for uh, the rest of the receivers here. Um, I think everyone just wants to build their own legacy, you know, leave something at LSU because that's what we all came here to do, you know, build our legacy and leave one. So I think that's all what we came to do. Yeah, Jamar Ryan, take it to Tiger Rag. Back when you made the decision to, to not play, what ultimately did you what, – what, what did it put you over the edge to say, I'm not going to play? What was the reason? And also – uh, was it important for you to make a decision before the season? You didn't want to get into the season and play and then quit. Yeah, so uh, my decision came off my family. You know, a lot of family-based moments. Um, I had a lot of stuff going on with my family at the time, so I wanted to take care of that. But um, you know, during the season, I didn't want to. I didn't want to play a few games and then, and then opt out because that doesn't look right. If I'm going to play some games, I might as well finish the whole season. Um, and I was still debating on if I was if I wanted to opt out in the uh, spring when I did it. Uh, first, Kavina, from the advocates, um, you know, as we were tracking your um, progress today, um, you know, on Twitter, everybody just seems to be, you know, um, real excited about your times and your your uh, distance and your jumping. Did you surprise yourself today <laughs> with what you were doing, and um, you know, how have you been training in the um, in the time since um, um, uh, last year? Yeah, I would say I kind of surprised myself. Um, I was going for a low 4-4, but uh, last night I was feeling good about my starts. I felt like I could have got a 4-3 this morning, and um, I did it. So I, that was what I really what I was going for. And how, how have you been training um, since uh, opting out? Like, what have you been doing behind the scenes with the new places that you've been working with? Um, lately I have been, you know, just catching balls, getting back into my groove, you know, uh, trying to work on a lot of receiver work right now. Um, but as of right now, I think I'm going to go full out just football. I was working on a lot of track, though, at first. Hey, Jamar, Billy Embody with 24-7 Sports. Good to see you again. Uh, when you watch Justin you know, this year as a, as a rookie receiver and go on to set those records, what were some of the things you took away from him that you need to you know, pick up right away to try and have similar success and uh, to top what he put together? Well, uh, um, I enjoyed Justin playing this year. You know, uh, he had a great season. Um, I don't really want to take anything away from Justin because he worked worked hard to get there. So, um, I mean, with me and Justin, is all about competing with us. You know, that's how we get better with one another. Um, so I think, you know, me watching him and playing is just going to make me better. You know, uh, working out with him is just going to make me better. So I think, you know, the best way is just to watch, film, watch the film he did, you know, probably learn a few things that he did and take it with myself and mix it up a little more. Hey, Jamar, Jay Morrison with The Athletic. Uh, curious, if you were to reunite with Joe, how much of a head start or advantage do you think that would be to, to have a connection with a guy already? And other than your 40, is there a number you put up today that you're, you're proudest or happiest with and why? Uh, I'll probably say my vertical. Um, I was actually trying to go for a 41. Uh, I was jumping 39s at Exos, so I wanted to come out here and jump a 41. But... Um, about the Joe thing, um, I think I would have an advantage if I was to play with him only because we played a couple years. Um, but we'll still have to get that groove back ahead, you know, feel for it again. It's, it's not just going to be there when we throw again. So we have to build that chemistry back up and work hard again. Hey, Jamar, uh, congratulations on the process of getting to this process. I um, wanted to know what are some of the NFL or wide receivers that you looked up to during your collegiate career, uh, some things that you've taken from their uh, play and put into your arsenal? Yeah, so um, when I was here, I was watching a lot of different receivers. Uh, I was really watching Stephon Diggs, one of the most. Uh, I just like how shifty and quick he is. You know, he has a sudden burst that's, that's always explosive. Um, but growing up, I was a big Des Bryant fan. Um, I got real cool with Michael Thomas when we won the championship. So those people, you know, they always kept me going, you know, kept pushing me. And um, I just always wanted to, you know, take a little bit of that game and add it in mind. We got time for one more. We'll finish with Alex Fleming. Hey, Jamar. Uh, Jamar, thanks for taking the time. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Alabama game? Uh, 
Not too bad. <clears throat> I got a couple of questions for you, sir. Um, since you've been gone for a year, how have you been able to keep your body in football shape and up to game speed? Because we both know that you know the game is fast and your body's going to be taking a pounding. Mm-hmm. Plus, you look amazing on your pro day, but your agility might be off. Um, because if your muscle fibers aren't at you know on tune, you're prone to be at injury risk. Um, what have you done to fine tune your product? Well, I was working on a lot of um, my speed work. Um, I stopped lifting so I could keep my twitch in my, my body and my legs. So that, that was the cause of me losing a little weight and making me look a little slimmer. Um, but on the other note, um, I feel good. You know, I, I was confident in my drills today. I felt good about my drills. Um, I just wanted to go out there and put on a show for them.